So we'll have an early morning look at the main street of town. Thing is how I turned the camera off yesterday. <laughs> Well, it should have been on. Tell that uh, Brett set on fire. <laughs> uh, reminded me of it last night. Turned the kettle on when he went out to uh, put some stuff in his car. Came back inside and the fire alarm was going and they were jumping up and down at him. The kettle hadn't automatically shut off like it should have done. They were trying to blame him for it. He wasn't impressed. to do the Cape Bower Loop Drive, if we can find it, of course. I figure if I stick close to the water, we should wind up at it somewhere. Walkways through sand hills. As it would, this would work a lot better with high winds and heavy seas, but today it's quite calm. So these are the whistling rocks and the blowholes. I take it these are the blowholes, but they're not, they're not happening today because it's just not strong enough. The wind and ocean really need to be working to get these things happening. And the climb back to the top. Now that is hardly fair. This was the Whispering Rocks and Blowholes. Works best on a rough day and a windy day. Well, it was neither of those. But the unfair bit is that I'm sure that the downward trek is about probably 250 metres. 
and I reckon it's close on a kilometre coming back. We're now pretty much at the tip of the Cape. It's Cape Bower down here to the left. I've seen these signs before around the south coast and of course I'll cross the, the uh, cross the Nullarbor. This is Cape Bower. Just a reminder of what happens if you get too close and it falls in. Well, that was Cape Bower. There's a track down here. It doesn't say no entry, so we're going to have a look. Well, I was following the track down and I didn't know where it was going, so I thought I'll stop and walk around this rock. Look at that. And the reefs out there where it's all breaking. So now it's around the top of the Cape and heading back towards Streaky Bay. So called by Matthew Flinders I believe because the uh, streaky nature in the water with the seaweed versus the, the light green or turquoise sort of colour. Sort of like down there, sort of streaky. We'll go down this one. Streaky Bay as we come down to the turn off where we started this circle. We are back in town again. And we got a ton of room here. Okay, we're going to head down and have a look at the the bigger loop today. Okay, so this is the West All Way Loop. Let's see what we can find. this track the beach. No cliff. The sign says high cliff so we'll go and have a look. This is high cliffs. High cliffs, and the beach at the bottom, obviously. And the other way is the granite. Yeah, there are four-wheel drive tracks going off here and there, but there's been some decent-sized boulders put in their place to stop people going uh, going along them. So obviously they're trying to protect the dunes as much as they possibly can. Oh, 
on another one of these boardwalks taking you down under the rocks below now I'm not one for clambering over rocks basically because I'm not as agile as I used to be not that I think I was ever that agile but this is the granite That is certainly a spectacular view. Highlights so far. Okay, this is the Point Westall, which is what we were looking at from back at the lookout there. Well, this track has seen better days. I wouldn't bring the family car in here, not one of the bits I've just been through anyway. I chose to put the hubs in. You know, problems in wheel drive, but then again, you don't want to have to sort of get out when you're in a, a bit of strife, do you? Cape okay, Westall, or Point Westall, whichever it is. So we have another vehicle that's made the run down here. Okay, so we're back to the main road. That was Point Westall. What a vista out there, eh? Waves breaking well out. Fabulous views. Smooth pool. Road may not be suitable for caravans. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, there's a look for you. Waves are breaking out on the reef, but then it's smooth in here. It's the smooth pool. There's that for a line of quartz. Oh, it looks like quartz. A little line through the through the rocks there. Look at the waves running in different directions, across each other. And there's our pool down there. Looks now as though we've been to the north and the southmost tips of this particular cape, if you like. Where does it take us next? Okay, Speeds Point and Yanabi to the right. And they tell me Yanabi is a must see, so here we go. Okay, so this is Yanabi. The 
speeds 0.2 kilometers. Okay. Okay, speeds point. Apparently you can camp here. It's an honesty box system. Speeds Point Campground in here apparently. Camping fees apply. Ten dollars a day per person. Mm. Too many campers here at the moment. And hooded plovers nest on this beach. Oh, this is the campground. Ten dollars per person per night. Okay, this is back at the main road again, and we're heading south now to Point Labat. Oh, uh, Scale Bay to the right. <laughs> oh, there's the ocean on our, on our right. Okay, well, we'll go up and do this, then we'll come back, and then we'll do the din din thing. Bottle shop's gone. This is the parade and the houses on our left face under the ocean. This is the parade and that's Scale Bay. I don't know where their shops are. This is, this is the public toilet at Scale Bay. Come along. This is the turn off to the Sea Lion Conservation Park.
Well, that was Point Le Blatt and the uh, seal colony. You're going to go and have a look at it, take a pair of binoculars and make sure you get a camera with a decent zoom on it because you ain't going to do it terribly well with, a, with an iPhone or a, just an ordinary telephone, that's for sure. It's a long way down. This is a big lake. It goes right back. Yeah, this is the, it's a big lake on the, we're actually going around. At least I think it's a lake, I'll need to check on the map, but. No, it's actually an inlet from Baird Bay. Uh, Baird Bay. That's all part of the ocean. This was Kalka. This is Murphy's Haystack. That was Murphy's Haystacks. Uh, you paid to go in because it's on private property. And there's some infrastructure there. So two dollars per adult, five dollars for a family. If you want to camp, an extra ten bucks. So you can camp on the place. There are some honeys there available. Again, all money goes in an honesty box. an interesting phenomena. phenomena. Okay, from here it's back to Streaky Bay. And it's 20 past 3 at this point in time, so we've had a pretty decent sort of day one way or another. It's uh, about 6 hours I've been on the road. Okay, this is the Flinders Highway, and now we're heading back to Streaky Bay.